Good afternoon. Is this Clay County's police station? Yes. How can I help you, Marcus? I am regularly doing an assessment training with new candidates, and I have come across Dean Arbor, whose file I have. It's weird because his candidate, and also we have a victim file on him as well. That's weird, because we have a file on almost every family member, including his father, who we believe came into contact with that ember. With all the disappearances and incidents that have come from last week's blood moon. That's why we open for new recruits. I'll get back to you on that file. To be safe, tomorrow will be the last day, and the assessment won't continue any longer. Keep an eye on Dean. Marcus, I mean it. is Anthony Fisher and I've been in Clay County since 1995 and my I have to say this place sure has changed. How so? How so? Look around you. The stores have been going out of business. The graveyards are packed and Clarison Industries is making money off of you petty folk. Excuse me? Petty folk. Sir, they helped us get out of the alternative academic. From 1991 to 1995, they captured the new entity and helped the community. That's what they want you to think. You're just like them. Like who? Whoa, whoa, let's just take a step back. Where are you from originally? Louisiana, and I'm proud of it. We never had anything there like what we had happen here. Clay County is a special town. Sure, we have shortcomings, but those incidences were beyond anyone's control. Just like the sheriff and his taxes going to the measly burning VHS tape. I bet you're part of the city council too, damn Republicans. So I'm not, and I don't get political on this show. I'll bet you're a no good, sit on your ass, stay at home, no good, Mexican. Cut it off, cut. Already got him off the air. Let's see if our next caller is a little more sane. Hello, is this Cooper with Cooper Can Do in the morning? Yes. What's your name and where are you from? Clay County, and the name's Dean Arbor. What can we do for you today, Dean? Well, earlier you had talked about how the town had changed. I think last week's moon had to do something with it. Interesting. I also saw the moon and it glowed red, which was strange. That night, a homeless man brought out a CRT TV and put it outside our studio building and chanted something about rebirth and holy moon. It was real strange stuff. 
We called the cops and he left. He had come up to me the same day and said the exact same thing. I think the disappearances have something to do with it too. Not to pry into your life, but is your father the same one who... Yes. Yes, he is. I'd rather forget, but time has a way of destroying oneself. Sorry about your sister changing subjects. What do you think of the new festival coming up? think it might be good. I've, I've been focusing on passing my job exam, mostly. Well, that's about it, folks. It was nice. Wait, there's something you need to hear. Sorry, but we are out of time. Maybe another day. You have it all, but we have your voice. We will consume the last of you. Everyone has been running from the real savior. Fear not, the sheriff will not be there. We seek the one who you call. Dean Arbor, he is the prophet. He will set my children free from their prison down below. Cooper, I know all about you. I know you're listening. Tell everyone of my coming. I shall bring the embers of hell to the surface. Rejoice, this Christmas shall be mine. Kill yourself or we will do it for you. Turn it off! Turn it off! Dean, I have decided to cancel the assessment. No, you can't. I've gotten so far. Look, it's about you, Dean. Bailey, can we have some privacy, please? I will finish this test. Dean, we have a file on you. A file? Like the ones you've been showing us? Yes. Just so we can end this assessment and figure out what happened and how you got into the program in the first place. I'm just going to find the file now. I don't need your help.
I hope I'm not too late. I gotta go to the basement. I gotta go to the basement. Ah, shit. I gotta go to the basement and see. See what's happening. Maybe just something can point me in the right direction. Something can point me to what happened. Damn spider webs. Hello? Hello? Shut up! Leave me alone! Get out of my head! I can see you! You're copying me! It does not have to be like this. The enemy is here outside. He is trying to stop us. You can be with Alexis right now. I, I can be with Alexis right now? She's here where- Wait, no. Why, why did you- Why did you make her take her life, huh? Why- She said- it. To, to stay away from you. The sheriff, he got to her before our angels could. We have always watched you, Dean, and now is the time. Please come with me. I will never abandon you like your father did. Okay, okay, I'll do it. What do I have to do? Just, just tell me. And I'll do it. Anything to see Alexis again. First, open your mouth so that I may inhabit and bring forth more embers. Your drama has brought you this far, and now you have fallen for us. You were the chosen one to be manipulated and bring forth damnation. Help me! Somebody help! Help! Is anybody out there? Help me! Please! Do not worry, you will have no pain. You will sit in the back of your mind. We will not kill you, as you are so important to us. Thank you for this, Dean. Think of us as your savior when your family left. Dean, get on the ground and cover your ears. We got the entity sheriff. Blast the frequency. You had a damn file on me like I was a victim too? And then you hired me to take the assessment? No. No, Dean. We had no idea until the sheriff opened the file and did a recheck. I talked to you. You were the one who did this and made me look like I'm crazy. No, that's impossible. I never contacted you. That must mean that... On the ground now, Dean. Ow, what did I do? You know what you did. Hacking a broadcast? I'm sorry about this, Marcus. He won't be any more trouble to this town. Why'd you do it, Dean? I told you I didn't do it. It was the ember. I know it's it's been a while, but it's not me. It really isn't. I don't know if it's an ember. I don't know what the hell it is. This makes no sense, Dean. Obviously, it was you. It wasn't. Is my dad still in there? Oh yeah, but you're gonna have to be. You're gonna have to hold still until we get there. I'm sorry that I have to go like this, but you know that's not allowed. It's your fault. you always been on my back ever since my dad got arrested. Ever since what happened to Alexis, everybody's been on me, including you, Sheriff. Why'd you arrest me? Well, you know you can't be having that, can't be running the radio station like that. That wasn't me. That was the ever I'm telling you, and I'm tired of telling you. 
Now, I don't, I don't get what you're saying. This, it's obvious it was you. And tell me exactly why you did what you did. I didn't do it. It wasn't me that called them. Someone, something imitated my voice and took it. Imitating you? The only thing I can think of was the ember. But that was long ago. Clearson got rid of it. So am I free to go? How am I supposed to even hack a station? Ask yourself that, Sheriff. Watch how you talk to me, boy. I don't know if you did it or not. But with your backstory and your dad, we can't trust you. Yeah, I did something back then, but compared to what's happening now, are you going to lock me up with him? Just stop. Look, I'm not putting you in the same cell as your dad. That's just not right. My dad is here? Can I see him? Yes, just be quick about it. You're a good guy. Just don't be like your father. You took a bad path, but can be different. What are you doing here? I came to see you, even after all these years. Look, I know we haven't been all there and since, you know, what... You don't need to explain. I care for you, son. Then why would you even take the blame? I know it wasn't you. I even went back into the house to see if it would follow me, if I could get a reaction or something. It did. It. They got it now. You can leave. You don't have to stay here. No, I can't. You don't understand. It tried to latch on to me. Your sister. It took her from us. From me. This is where I'm safe from that thing. Why, why'd you go back? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Are you kidding me? I was stewing in depression after Alexis had died and you were sitting rotting in here. At least I'm trying to do something fucking about it. I went to an assessment because all this shit started happening all over again. And guess what? That went into the gutter too. My assessment, everything I've been doing, and you've been in here. Just leave it be, son. The sheriff's got it under control. Let him do his job and find these missing people. How? Are you fucking kidding me? He locked me up today because he thinks I hijacked a fucking radio station. Dad, how do I... How am I supposed to do that? What about your assessment? Your new job you wanted? That's gone now. Into the gutter. It's been cancelled. I identified the entity that killed Alexis, and now I know what to do if it comes back. Stop. You don't know what this is. It feels different. This town has never had that many missing people. Can you tell me what else I need to know? You're not going to listen to me, are you? Alright, stay away from TVs. It can copy anyone, so don't trust anyone. And don't look it in the eye. At all. It can see your weakness. Alright, time to go, Dean. I don't have all night. What are you looking at, John? You did this to yourself. I'm trying to help my son, asshole. Sheriff, we're gonna need you. We've just found a body outside Northview Apartments. A body? Well, it's better than another missing file report. Were you able to identify them? Yeah, I heard. It's a horrible scene. It's better if you come here. I'll be there shortly. Gosh, this is absolutely terrible. I have to let Marcus know one of his assessment takers have died. I'm heading back to the office. Sir, you're not gonna believe this. We found Alicia from Marcus's assessment, the one who went missing. Well, you're not gonna leave again, are you? Yes, just got news that someone's been found. Wait, I have to see Dean. He's in danger. John, stop. I will be back, alright? Doctor, how is she? She suffered minor lacerations to her head. Somehow she's been in a coma-like sleep until she was discovered. When will she be available for questioning? She will be up in a few hours, but she needs all the rest she can get. She will have to get used to walking again and talking, as she has been in a coma-like state for a very, very long time. She's been missing for a while now, hasn't she? Sheriff? You're right. 
I'll be secure in the hospital until then. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did, and he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out, and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision.
Hey, buddy. It's like 10 degrees outside. You need a ride? No, I'm fine. I'll be all right. Wait a second. Are you Dean? Dean Arbor. I talked to you this morning and that strange broadcast came on. I work with Cooper. It must have been what you were talking about. Here, get in. Yeah, that wasn't me earlier. I heard it and it was really weird. The whole birth thing, I just don't get it. Do you know the sheriff? I know of him. He arrested me and brought me to the station, even though I said I didn't even do it. This is just horrible news for Christy. Her family's gonna be notified about her passing. But, uh. Wait, wait. What? Alicia Gonzalez of Clay County has been found. She's now at the Clay Hospital recovering. Was that today? Yeah. It was a little earlier before I left the station. Can you drop me off at the hospital real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Whoa, whoa. Slow down, Dean. What are you doing? Out of my way. I know her, okay? I, I just want to see if she's okay. She's fine. She's unresponsive. I don't care. I need answers. I need to know what's going on. Stop, Dean. It's okay. I know you're in Marcus's assessment for Clearson Industries. I was there when you almost died by it. I'm here for you. I'm sorry. It's been a lot ever since these disappearances and everything that's been happening around me. That girl named Alicia in there, we studied about her. And it looks like she didn't even age. Yes, I was afraid of that. The ember is back and it wants you. Marcus may not have told you, but I will. I want you to see this. What is that? Embers. They are not alternates. They were made new in the 1700s. An author saw an ember being birthed and illustrated it in this book. You see, when an ember dies, it doesn't completely go away. It finds someone who can live without forgetting it, sort of like PTSD. But this monster can use that memory or image in your brain to make another ember and the cycle will continue. It wants me? No. No, I don't believe that. G give me that book. to go. I need to breathe. I need to get out of here. Dean, wait. Dean, they feed off your fear.
John Orber, the time has come. <laughs> <laughs> There is no need to speak. I speak for you now. Your son, your daughter, all of it will come back to you. <laughs> we shall free you and then free ourselves.